Hi, this is Rick again with Oasis. Right now I'd like to feature our Pro Bench series. It's the same bench but I make it in three different versions. What you see here is the C-clamp version because of this piece right here. This is where you attach a C-clamp vise. We also may, they'll make it in a 5x8 version. <clears throat> this is for your rectangular type pedestal bases, vices. Um, this originally was designed to work with the Marriott vise, which just fits right in that 5 by 8 inch area. We found that that covers most all the rectangular bases for pedestal vices. We also make it in a 6 by 6 inch version. <clears throat> you got a 6 by 6 inch square area that's got room for those square butt bases. These benches also have a very beautiful uh, laser etching of the life cycle of the mayfly which as you can see here shows you the life cycle of the mayfly. <clears throat> Back to the bench itself you can see they have the carved out trays in the front which are very handy for hooks, beads, eyes. They have a radius curved bottom so it's very easy to pick out even the smallest hook or bead out of these trays. You've got bottle storage on this side, tool storage on this side, thread storage in the back. Uh, we've got our hackle plier hanger, which as we talked before, hackle pliers hang real well. They don't like to go in holes as well. We've got um, larger holes for marking pins, uh, wing burning sets, your goop glue, uh, maybe a hair stacker back here. You've got a foam insert here for your bodkins. Very handy place just to stick your bodkin when you're done working with it. You want holes up front for your scissors, whip finishers, tools that you're going to be using a lot. You want them handy and accessible. Larger hole in the back for these um, large needle nose pliers for bending down barbs. Some of the holes go all the way through, as you can see. Some have bottoms in them for shallow holes. Some are medium, some are deep, some are shallow. So the deep holes hold those longer tools really well. These are medium deep in the back, and then you have your shallow hole tools for tools that don't need a deep hole. Got um, Over here we've got a room for 10 bobbins off to the side then all your bobbins there on this side we've got our area for our glues and waxes <clears throat> hit cements these first four holes are one and three quarter inch diameter and then they have a one and a half inch diameter hole in the bottom of it so if the bottle is large it's going to sit on the lip of that larger, smaller hole. If it's medium size, it's going to fall through that hole and sit on the bottom of the bench. Either way, it's going to keep your bottles secure from falling over. We've got um, holes back here. These are inch and uh, half holes with an inch and a quarter hole in the bottom. Same kind of thing. Some, some bottles are going to go all the way through. Some bottles are going to rest on that lip. So it gives you a dual purpose. The larger holes work great for the larger items, medium holes. The bench comes with these 14 jars for commonly used hooks, beads, eyes. You can put right on the bench. The brass rods, there's 20 of them. There are 3 inch long brass rods. So each brass rod will store 3 spools of tiny material, lead, wire, tinsel. There is a um, this is for a hair stacker set. This bench was originally designed for Wasatch Tools. They have these beautiful wood handles, but they need a little bit larger hold than some of your skinnier, older style tools. So this bench was originally designed for these tools. They will also work, of course, well with your thinner handled tools also. But uh, Wasatch makes a set of hair stackers, beautiful wood hair stackers. They have their large 
they have a medium, they have a small, and they have a micro. So all four of those fit in there. Um, we also have a hole, maybe if you'd like to have a place to set your um, Zappa Gap glue right here. These um, benches, I originally designed this, kind of a, you'll notice a lot of similarity between this and the giraffe bench. The giraffe bench uses a steel base plate here you get from giraffe, and it has a stud, two studs, on each of back of the base steel base plate here and here. That's for their light and magnifying glass. The downside of that was the bench was very heavy. That steel base must weigh 10, 15 pounds. So when you go to pick the bench up, it was just a real heavy bench. With the pro bench, I replaced that steel base idea with this uh, laser artwork here, and we put these studs up here on this platform, this edge of the wood. I screw it in. You need to order these studs additionally with the bench. There's a place on my website. They're like $15 for the two studs. I screw it with one inch screws into this wood so it becomes very secure and then the light and magnifying glass can snap onto those studs. The, this, is, um, this is the giraffes. It's a rimless two power rimless magnifying glass on a very nice flexible arm. This is medical quality stuff. It's a really high-end stuff. I think this, uh, they, I don't stock these, but you can get these direct, direct from Giraffe. I think the magnifying glass is around $70. You can also get it with a smaller uh, insert that's a 10x magnifier in, embedded inside. It's about the size of a quarter inside the larger. And it, it has a spring-loaded apparatus here. You, just, you pull up on this spring, push it down on that stud, let go of the spring, and it locks it into, into place. The lamp, same idea, same that same arm, very high quality, bends. When you order these, uh, they make these in a 24 inch and a 30 inch. Order the 30 inch because you want that extra length to get you over to above where your fly is going to be. These holes here in the back of the bench are designed for the power cord to go through. So you can put this on either the right side or the left side of the bench and then put your magnifying glass on the side that's left over. But the electrical cord will go through that hole, you pull the cord out, plug it into your wall outlet, and you've got really nice light. This You could also get this with a color correct bulb. They're I think around $20, so it gives you daylight coloration on your flies. Very nice, very nice addition to the Pro Bench. You can also, these holes will also work with the uh, fly dock. You want to add those to the back of the bench. I have three holes here in the back. You could also put a sparkle spinner, you could put a baggy buddy in these holes and add some accessories onto the back of the bench. Uh, when, you, <clears throat> when you're set up, get ready to tie, you're going to get your fly tying vise and attach it to the front. If you want the vise a little more to the left and a little further back, you can bring it over here and do it like that. Um, either way, or if you want it more to the right, you can put it over here. Put your vise like this, then the, the fly is going to be more to the right. You can get, this, has, this has a rubber washer here and here, so once you tighten this all down, it's very stable. This doesn't, this doesn't move around when you're tying. Then we have a, a background card, which really helps with uh, eye strain and seeing detail. If you've never tied with a background card behind your flies, you should try it sometime. It's amazing how much easier it is to see, um, especially if you're tying little tiny flies or, um, or you're tying flies for long periods of time. It's dark on one side if you're tying light colored flies, white on the other side if you're tying dark colored flies, and you very easily just adjust the height. So it's in line with your sight through your fly with the background card behind it. Uh, anyway, th this, so this is our Pro C-clamp version. As I said before, we also have this in a pedestal vise version for either a 5 by 8 inch pedestal vise or a 6 by 6 inch pedestal vise. Thank you very much.